the 4th of January 2022 it is my first day back at work and it's my first day trying to create a, a better routine for productivity as well as creativity this year Towards the end of last year, I really fell into a creative rut, as one may say. Um, I stopped creating, stopped taking photos, stopped taking videos. And even the previous years, I have learned many ways how to not be consistent creatively. And this year, I plan on changing that, and I think I have formulated the perfect methodology to actually be more creative more often and to stay inspired so if that's a problem for some of you that watch this uh, then let me share my thoughts and maybe you find some solution too successful and productive first day at the office now let's talk about a concept called every day So I know what you're thinking, um, a while ago I said I would do everyday vlogs and I failed at that miserably. And I think I failed because the pressure of creating a video every single day is insane coming up with a storyline, filming, doing the edit and something that I just couldn't do and was not achievable. So now my new model is to actually mandate myself to create every day not create just a video every day. So when I say that, I mean some days I will post a blog in which I'll write about some of my business thoughts, where I am in my career, and I'll post that on this website that I built. Uh, I would also start picking up photography again. So some days I just need to take a photo, edit the photo, and then post on Instagram. Other days I would just do maybe very short vlogs or just in a real format on Instagram. So I'm still doing video content, um, but not to this massive extent, which is a five minute video and undertaking every day. And then finally, of course, part of that is these day, these vlogs again, in which I will sometimes shoot um, these five minute videos in which give you a little bit more detail of my life. Now, I thought that there would be an order or a process in which I do this, but I think I'm just gonna take every day as it comes and I will use the medium that best suits the topic that I wanna talk about that day. So this has given me a new uh, motivation and excitement for creating again, which I really needed towards the end of last year. I really hit a rut, so hopefully I can overcome that. And if you wanna follow along with the journey, please follow me on Instagram for the photos. Of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, to watch these videos. And then also have a look at the, my website, which is uh, www.mattcorter.com, in which you can see some of my a lot of articles when I post them and I also post them to social media so you know about them and can find them through a few links it should be easy to find 
enough about that. Um, for the final part of this vlog, uh, I found out the other day that Table Mountain Cable Clock closes at 9.30 as opposed to 4 o'clock, which is a great change. So it's a beautiful day and I'm really hoping to catch the sunset on the mountain. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we have our annual passes. Alright, just so you know the wind is still around, so we can't guarantee how long we'll be your stay on top of the mountain. Oh really? Okay, okay yeah, sure. makes sense. Okay. All right, well they let you. us know if we have to go down. Yes. They won't, they won't <laughs> leave us up there. So it seems that we are in a in a cloud, the only cloud in Cape Town at the moment, and we need to seek the sunset. That is our current view, which is not fantastic. So initially, I thought that the wind would be our biggest problem today, but actually I was wrong. Uh, a single cloud is our problem. Uh, there is a sunset over there somewhere. However, we are just stuck in the cloud still. Sunset update, still cloudy. Final sunset update. Sadly, the cloud did not leave us and uh, we got some mist instead. Nah, good adventure either way.